This is Brooks scanning experiment, um, <clears throat> which is for module eight. So what you're going to do is view a series of stimuli. They're going to be letters and then sentences and answer questions about them. For the first part of the experiment, you're going to mentally move around the outside of a large letter and indicate whether each corner of the letter is an inside corner or an outside corner. So here's the next slide so we can see what I mean. So you would start at the top of the F and say out, 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 in, in, out, out, in, out, out, and then you'd end. And so what you're doing is you are tracing a 3D version of, or I'm sorry, a 2D version of the letter and indicating if each corner is on the outside of the letter or the inside of the letter. Okay, you're going to do that out loud. So you'll do that for several letters and then sometimes you're going to do it without looking at the letter. So you'll just have to imagine what it looks like in your mind. So you're going to indicate if the corner is either inside or outside. In the first response format, you're going to say out loud whether a corner is inside or outside. So let me give you an example. Um, you would be imagining it in your head and you would say out, 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 in, in, out, out, in, out, out. Okay. So same thing as when you see it, except we're not going to see it anymore. Okay, in the other response format, you're going to have to point uh, to indicate whether a corner is inner or outer. So you will get this sort of slide and you would do the same thing we've just done. Out, 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 in, in, out, out, in, out, out. Um, but you are going to point, like you could you move your mouse and point on the screen. <clears throat> okay. So you'll see each letter for a second before it disappears. So you won't have any, um, all these will be imagined letters. You'll have 10 seconds to respond. So always start in the top left corner of a letter and move clockwise around it. So that's right uh, and around. All right, so get ready. You don't have to write anything down. You're just going to be saying out loud, out and in. So here we go. You should be pointing right now. Okay, in the second part of the experiment, what you're going to do is read some sentences and you have to hold the sentence in memory because you're not going to be able to look at the sentence after you read it. And you have to decide if each word is a noun or not. So it's similar to that first part of the experiment. There's two different response formats. In the first one, you're just going to say out loud, noun or not. So yes, no, yes, no. Okay. So the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So you would say no. No, no, yes, no, 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 yes. Okay, so for fox and for dog. But you've got to do that while it's in memory. In the other response format, you're just going to point. So the same thing we did the first time, <clears throat> where you have this sentence, and then you will get the uh, yeses and nos, and so you're going to point. No, 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 yes, no, no, no. No, yes. Okay, so you're just going to point with your mouse. <clears throat> so you'll get each sentence for five seconds, so you have time to read it, and then you have ten seconds to respond. So you're either doing it out loud or you're pointing. And go.
so what is this experiment about? It's a modification of an experiment by Brooks, and it supports Baddeley's working memory model. And so remember that's the model with um, the central executive, the physio-spatial sketch pad, and the phonological loop. And it shows that we are able to perform two things simultaneously as long as they don't uh, reply on the same parts in working memory. So what that means is that working memory's got three parts, like I just said, and as long as uh, you're not trying to do two auditory things, the phonological loop, or two visual things, the visuospatial sketch pad, you can do them simultaneously. So the various tasks in this experiment required you to either perform um, one task each or two tasks simultaneously. So in the first part of our experiment, mentally going around the letters is a visual task. Responding by pointing is also a visual task. Responding by speaking is a phonological task. So you should have had an easier time responding by speaking than pointing because they're separate systems. In the second part of the experiment, holding a sentence in memory is a phonological task because you're repeating it to yourself. So responding by speaking is a phonological task, and responding by pointing is a visual task. So you should have an easier time in the pointing part of this experiment because it's a different part of working memory. Okay, so what are you going to do um, to turn in is you're going to uh, write down which conditions you had an easier time with. Just thinking about how you performed, was it easier to do the um, when you're working with the letters, the pointing or the speaking, and when you're working with the words, the pointing or the speaking on Blackboard.